All right, let's buck, let's jump out of ranked for a minute, and we'll go play. Uh, we'll go play San Diego. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. America, eight, San Diego. All right, now, if you've never, if you've ever played in Atlanta, classic with the resub. Thank you kindly. Appreciate you, sir. I got a, I got a funny. Now the classic series reminded me of a story to tell you guys, but I'll tell it after we talk about San Diego for a minute. All right. If you're familiar with Atlanta down at Tier 7, American Premium uh, Light Cruiser Atlanta, um, the class was built and designed as basically like an anti-aircraft cruiser, right? So the main battery is all of the ubiquitous American 5-inch 38s, right? You've got a ton of these things. You have eight of them. You have three super-firing uh, sets up forward. You have three super-firing sets back aft, and you have what they call these little waist turrets, these little hip turrets kind of back here on the, alongside the after superstructure. Now, Atlanta at Tier 7 gets traditional HE and AP, and she gets radar. But she's not, it's only like 7.5 kilometer radar, and she has like, I don't know, like 9 and something detection. So, Atlanta's a really good, Atlanta's a really good destroyer hunter in her tier, because even if a destroyer can see her coming, they may not be able to get away. And once they're under, once they're under the hammer of that radar bubble, it's nasty. San Diego's a little different. For starters, she only gets um, SAP shells. Of course, not didn't, uh, shells that didn't exist back when Atlanta was created, and AP shells. Now, you won't find yourself firing the AP a whole lot, but you will find yourself firing the SAP quite a bit. Her consumables loadout is also very, very different, right? Atlanta gets damage control party, uh, unlimited defensive fire, and three charges of radar. San Diego doesn't get radar, but she gets repair party, which for tier 8 cruiser is pretty sexy. She gets hydro, also handy, especially if we're going destroyer hunting. She gets five charges of defensive fire, and this is the good defensive fire. You see that 100% continuous damage? This is the same defensive fire that the American destroyers get. So San Diego will maul aircraft. I mean, just destroy them. It's kind of silly. City. Thank you for the follow. All right. Um, or it's 8.5. Thank you, Armored. Thank you. It's 8.5. And then she gets main battery reload booster, which is oh so sexy, right? So when you go to build out the captain... You're not really so much worried about uh, survivability expert. You sort of don't care. Um, I like last stand. I think you definitely want consumable specialist because you want the reload booster to come back as quick as you can. You don't need turret traverse and you don't need um, gun feeder. It's a light cruiser. Um, you definitely want focus fire training, which is a ship, a skill that I absolutely love uh, for most cruisers. A cruiser, any cruiser has a decent A suite. Two points. You just made it a little better. You give her an extra flak puff and you made the focus, the focus sector. 50% uh, better than it was previously. So you, you always want this skill, in my mind, if the ship has any AA of any value. Superintendent, because I want an extra charge of that consumable suite. That consumable suite is amazing. I drill in a rush. I'm a light cruiser. I'm going to get smacked around. Now, here's where things get weird. Heavy HE and SAP shells is not a skill that a lot of cruiser, a lot of cruiser players use. You get extra damage built into the shell, but it, if, the, if the ship has shells over a certain size, it makes you less stealthy. Most cruisers in the game cannot take advantage of this, right? Even a typical light cruiser, um, a typical light cruiser has six inch guns, 150, 150, 155 millimeters, 152 millimeters. So they can't take, take they can't take advantage of this. Ah, but Atl the Atlanta class can very much like this, like Smolens can up at tier 10 and so on and so on. So you definitely want this because it makes your SAP shells hit that much harder. You obviously want concealment. Now, this four point skill is, I'm going to say dubious. This is a personal choice. You're leaning into San Diego's AA suite perhaps a little too heavily with this one. So I'll leave this up to you. I don't know that you necessarily want this skill. I like it. I love this skill. It takes the AA and just turns it up a notch, right? Um, the long range aura on this ship is insane. And eight flak puffs is a lot of flak. A lot of flak. So there's a lot to like about San Diego, especially when it comes to murdering planes. Loadout is pretty straightforward. Obviously, main armaments one. I've gone hydro. You could go defensive fire. I wouldn't recommend this in this tier. I think hydro is the better way to play. Um, I've taken aiming systems mod. This is dubious. Um, you're firing a lot of shells, so it doesn't really matter where they go necessarily. But there are times where it's like you really want the shells to land on target, so you really kind of want this. I think this is probably a, a little too much uh, leaning, in, leaning into the A suite, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but it's not bad. I mean, Paramel, you're free to believe whatever lies Reddit has told you, but that's, you know, that's on you, buddy. Steering gears. Now, let's look at this one for a minute. I'm 5.9 on the rudder shift. If I take this out, my rudder shift is 7.3. I, I don't think that's a big difference. You know what? I'm going to buff my little airstrikes. 
which are seven kilometers. I'm more and more as I fight as I fight cockroaches, as I fight submarines, I'm really liking this airstrike mod. It also means look at the damage that I'm getting out of the depth bombs. 5,500 because I've buffed it here and I've buffed it here. Depth strike damage is is 15% here and then another another like what is it? This is 20%. 15%. So 30% depth charge damage. That's going to hurt. Uh, and then you, want, you definitely want concealment. Okay? So yeah. So San Diego. Now, let's see what kind of matchmaking I get. That's the real question. Um, I really want a carrier. I very much want to show off the uh, anti-aircraft capabilities of this ship if I'm able to. Oh, 100% black too. 100%. So uh, a little spoiler for you guys. And I was hinting on, I was talking about this briefly on the Baltimore video that got posted this week. I've already filmed, I've already got the games in the can that I want for Des Moines and Buffalo. So those videos will be coming probably in the next few weeks. Um, the Des Moines game, I had an opposing midway that I earned an AA medal and then some in that game, right? Excellent. And they're British planes even. This is actually solid matchmaking for us. We're middle tier, perfectly serviceable. The battleship, there are only two battleships, plenty of destroyers for me to hunt and murder. And I'll and I have a submarine. I can check check my uh, my um, depth charge choice there. Okay, this is actually pretty solid matchmaking to test out this ship. And and it's estuary, which is actually not a bad map for this particular ship. So let's give it a shot. The Kronstadt is a problem. The Allende or the, and the Hipper could be actually any one of those cruisers could be a problem for me. All of them are big enough guns sucks, or AP with enough penetration I that I have to be very cautious. I where I go. Now, who have I got on this flank? I've got a Katsonis, who has radar but no smoke. I've got an Anchorage coming. He also, he is smoke but no radar, right? He's smoke. Yes, Anchorage is smoke. Fiji is smoke. There's a lot of smoke cruisers in this game. Three smoke, three smoke cruisers and me. <laughs> All right. Won't this be fun? They have a radar. We have planes. That's all we got. I'm on you like stink on I mean, maybe City. We'll find out, won't we? I, 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 I have seen teams statistically that should have won a game, play like crap, myself included, and lose. So you never know what's going to happen. They call them randoms for a reason. Babysit with the oh, there's Striker. Okay, I just realized that the Striker was uh, Striker. Well, Anchorage was Striker. Bring it on, Implacable. Bring it on, Implacable. Let's go. Let's go, baby. No, don't turn around. Come back. Come back. Oh, I want you to come back. I want to murder your planes. You big meanie. All right. I see Strikers trying to catch up to me. We've got somebody here in A. I'm going to try and get positioned here on the assumption or the hope that we'll get eyes on that guy in a minute. The Haida and the Friesland have pretty solid detection. The uh, Mahan is not terribly frightening, nor is the split necessarily. This Katsonis is going to be in pain. He's already inside the hydro range of the Friesland and probably doesn't know it yet. He's dead. He's already dead. Yeah, you're dead, sir. You picked a fight with the Friesland. What's my hydro range? Five? Okay. Hey, what up, Friesland? How you doing, buddy? Damn. Desert road, no Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark, son. Are you sure about that? <laughs> now, I might be stupid out here. We're gonna find out, kids. Ooh, nailed that guy. All right, now I have to get out of here before the Colorado murders me. Well, since I'm already here and it can't, I can't do anything about it, let's just try not to die. Oh, 
Oh good, Colorado didn't shoot me. Woohoo! That was a mistake, sir. That was a mistake. I'm not kidding, I got stupid, stupid aggressive there, and that was probably your one good chance to murder me. If I do this right, you'll never get that chance again. So you can see as the Colorado starts to angle, the SAP becomes less effective. I have to rely on full pins up into his superstructure, and I'm really not getting very many. Okay. Okay. Here's the good news. We just wrecked them on this flank. Here's the bad news. It still cost us two ships. Now, they're going to cap this thing, and there's nothing we can... There's nothing the uh, opposing team can do about it. I need the Kronstadt to not kill me. Please. That'd be awesome. Please don't kill me, Kronstadt. I need the Colorado to die. Um... I am going to head to the other flank. Uh, we've got a lot of force on this flank, and things do not look good on the other side of the map. I want to be able to bully the Haida and the Split over there once we find them. We need to do something about this. these guys. This is a huge problem. Both our battleships being on the same side of the map is terrible. Okay, we're nose to nose with a Mahan over here. Hmm. <laughs> Mahan takes a torp. That's big. We need that. Our I-56 is probably dead because, well, he's just not very good at submarine. Oh, he may. Oh, look at that. Nicely done. Did not see that coming, ladies and gentlemen. All right. The Allende bought it. Okay. Things look much better now. The Allende bought it. The hide is coming down the channel. We don't know where the split is. Okay. This actually feels much better now. All right. Our Heinrich is going to die. There's the Haida. What is up, my dude? Are you sure about that? Yep. Their destroyers did not uh, cover themselves in much glory here. Okay. Let's go split hunting. He's over here right in front of right in front of striker off to the right. <laughs> yeah, their destroyers have been hyper-aggressive, which I admit does not make a lot of sense to me. San Diego is coal steel. Um, San Diego, I think, was just regular sold for doubloons, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. That sounds correct, though. Oh, come on, guys. Nobody capped A. What are y'all doing back there? Good lord. Oh, my God. You're letting them back into this game, fellas. Why did we not cap Suck A? It down. Holy bejesus. Suck it down. Suck it down. Striker's just salivating. He's just ready to come around the corner and murder this guy. Toulon is going to bite it, probably. Certainly looks like he is. Yep, he buys it. There we go. Finally clipped him. Okay. We need to capture D. What's it left? We got the implacable who I'm basically immune to. Uh all right. I'll let's I'm gonna go to, I'll go up mid here. Let's go up mid. Striker go to D. Take the Sejong and go to D. I'm gonna go up mid with I'm gonna follow the, the um oh the weather's setting in. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna follow the uh, the I-56 up to B, and we're gonna go see if we can we can uh, 
harness the tears of the implacable. I'm getting good SAP pens on this guy. Love that. Yeah, okay, the Kronstadt's coming this way. His radar's offline, which means I'm going to cut into this cap and probably have to back away from him to avoid getting my face smashed in. We'll see if the I-56 can do something to him. Am I going to be able to cut in here without dying? Well, I'm kind of committed now. Let's hope I am. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Nope. Very, very close. Hold on. Don't murder me, bro. Not it. All right, let's get this guy off the board. I need you to die. I need you to die. Uh, that wasn't it. You were supposed to die. Thank you. All right. Let's turn back. Yeah. I got stuck out of the... I got stuck out of the cat, but it is what it is. Okay. Oh, man. I meant to press defensive fire. I pressed heal. Oh, that's my own fault. Okay. Well, I'm sure the implacable will come back for me, and we'll be able to... Um, we'll be able to murder him. If not, we're going to go run him down. This game is close enough. I mean, it's... There's only a three-point difference right now. We're slowly taking up points. Bottom line is I got plenty of time to chase this carrier down and murder him, so that'll feel good. Let's go for it. Okay, I-56 is getting shelled on the surface by the hipper. That feels kind of terrible. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. <sighs> and now the enemy team takes the lead. Well, we'll have a solid lead here in a minute. Okay, I gotta remember you is defensive fire, not the heal. Um, so, Xanda, you mostly fire SAP. There were a couple of salvos against the Kronstadt. I could have fired the AP and did not. Okay, IV-6 took the hipper with him. I like all of this. Um, he was a couple of times that he was showing me enough of an angle that I might have gotten full pins. The SAP is more reliable, let's say. You're more likely to get a good hit out of the SAP. Can I guess? I'll take a guess at the Nelson. Nope. Blind fire gets me nothing. Anchorage versus Nelson. Point blank range. You go, striker. You go, striker. Now, I'm not going to be able to see this guy even as I come around the headland here. We're the only ones ticking up points, which is lovely. I wish this carrier would come mess with me. Oh, I wish this carrier would come mess with me. Okay. I'm going to try and blind fire this Nelson. Hold on. Maybe about right there. He's turning away now. Still can't see this guy in this garbage weather. All right. Anchorage goes out. Feels bad, Striker. Feels bad. That's all right. Sejong takes the Nelson, so then it's down to just the Implacable. Okay, let's go murder him. You can't run forever, and the Sejong's A is even better. Is probably about as good as mine. He used HE. I'm not surprised. 
Most most Nelson players never never learn how to fire AP out of 16 inch guns at tier seven, which feels terrible, but is very true. All right, so Zhang's off the port side. He's trying to kill our Indom, which is weird, but okay, sure. The trick is, I think we're going to have to run this guy to the corner of the map to murder him. I'm going to try and guess. No. Okay, I got a few hits there. I wish this guy would bring his planes back. Oh, bring your planes back. Which we mean the Sejong, there won't be anything left. It'll be glorious. They will all they will all melt like butter. Okay, hold on. Let's get this heal in. <clears throat> okay. He's finally in gun range. We just can't spot him behind this island. And he's, he's like, he's like giving up now or something. Come on, man. A crowbar would come in handy right about now. He's still trying for our, for our carrier. Well, guys, I've literally sailed in a full circle around the map. Is he reversing? He's reversing. No, he changed his mind. Now he's just sitting still now. Now he's moving forward. Perfect. Move forward for me, son. You think the AP will do anything to him at this range? Let's find out. Let's find out. He's going to come around this corner. I'm going to have pretty good shots at him. Power on. Now it's time to kick some ass. And I got a one charge of my fancy reload booster left. Hold on. Mmm. Feels good. Feels good. There we go. Didn't get to murder as many planes as I would have liked, but trust me when I tell you, San Diego's excellent at it. That's a weird game. And the weather really kind of uh, hoses you up, right? Um, I took a bit of a dumb risk early on to get that Friesland off the board, and I'm sort of glad I did. And then we were able to uh, we were able to also pick up... Wow, the Indom had a great game. Um, that's somebody who knows how to play Indom. You don't find too many of those people around. That's nice. Um, and then we were able to pick up the kill on the... Um, uh, one of their sub, the U-190 as well, which was lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So, there you go. A little bit of San Diego.